Hello everyone, are you looking for the way to learn English? This is the life place. We teach you in a way that helps you learn and start speak the English that you learn. To quidditch a mudio wiga, and then say it on you to quidditch is a ukawawasha kujikoresha. We are just here with a sole purpose to teach you English and better English. To learn to fit in a good imu in a gusa, you quidditch on yes, and then say it on yes, a cheese. Today we are going to learn phrasal verbs. We must be quicker in shinga zigelete. I'm going to explain what is phrasal verbs and I will give you the examples that we saw in our phrasal verbs. Monichi, mweni njero, kujirango, izo tujibuze kwa tuma ze kuiga, ube wawasha, kuzikolesha. Before that, mbele hivyo, I want to tell you that we have extra English courses. Tuwadu fiti, andi masomo hii, kio njereza, we teach you via Zoom. Tukujisha, tukolesheshe, Zoom, you can contact us using 0780293112 wa duwa magara chango se ukatuwa ndikila kuri 0 karindu mnani 0 makumnya wili ni chenda gata tu di mge di mge kabili plus the other thing let's say each end we have books prepared in a way that it helps you improve your range to fit in it alone we have jago fasha konjira icho njira za chago alright the books for beginners, the data of Java Tangizi, intermediate, Nibjavari Hagati, and advanced. Let's say Navajese Kuyorgo Hejuro. We are just here for everyone. To Yano, Kuri Wese, Ushaka Kuiga, Icho and Jereza. Okay, those are communications I wanted to give you. Ayo, Yumatanga, Sasha Birango, Mueze. And for now, let's start. The lesson of today, Katutangire isomo Jiyu Mose. Phrasal verbs and meaning. To the Kriga, in China, Zijeretse, Nugusoa, Nrogazo. What is a phrasal verb? Phrasal verb, Wundi Nichi. In China, Tukongyao adjective, Changwa se adverb, Changwa se preposition, No neo igaitifata, Wundi Musoa, Nro. Alright? Hali in China, Ishoa la kukomeza kukumana, Gau soba anlo, hali nindi itaka za gau soba anlo. Muru jero, stand in ugu hagarara. If I say stand up, na vima mbuze mbu hagarara, chango se aguka. You see, it's the same. Nongeo up, preposition, but then meaning ya komeje ali ya hindi. That is phrase of verb. No, no, tuje kwi is in the phrase of verbs. Da zano kukuhe ni za ugu soba anlo gazo. Alright? I told you that we just came here with a purpose to make sure that you speak and speak better English. My friend, we have the first phrase of verb we are going to start with is abide by. Abide by. What is the meaning of abide by? Abide by, it means to follow a decision or a law. This is A. A decision. Anzuro, kumanzuro wa tanzu. Enu munu, uka ukulichira. Chamwa se ukulichira, iteje kujia tanzu. Enu munu, chamwa se, ya tanzu, nichi nunaka, chamwa na company nunaka. We are going to see the example. I believe that you are going to understand what it means. Abide by. First example, unyeru kwa mbele. We can say, we have to go mba. We have to abide by what the court says. We have to abide by what the court says. We have to abide by what the court says. We to abide by what the court says. We have to abide by what the court says. Tukomo kulichila umanzuro wechiko guatante. Next example, urujeru kwa kabili. Children should abide by parents' rules. 
children abana should dukosha should turi gutanga inama cyangwa gutanga itekerezo children abana should bakwiye abide by parents rules zenko bakwiye gukurikira cyangwa se kugendera ku mategeko yababyeyi children should abide by parents rules okay next one indi tujye gukurikiza ho ni account for what is the meaning of account for account for it means to explain to explain which means in kinyarwanda gusobanura to explain that is account for now let's see the example the canon of turebe urugero let's see the example here you are the one to account for the missing money you are the one to account for the missing money you are the one to account for the missing money the missing money na mafranga ari kubura account for na kugena gusobanura you are the one you are the one you are the one to account for ugomba gusobanura the missing money amafranga ari kubura gusobanura amafranga yagiye you are the one to account for the missing money so here you can even add more sentences now shaka wagenda wongera uhero zawe i give you the template and you have to follow the template to make your own sentences ngiye mwereza urugero shaka wagendera ho na ukawa akora interuro zawe you are the one to account for children behaviors ugomba ni wowe ukwikwa wabazwa imyitwarire yababana kuko ni wowe muhora muhorana so then you are the one to account for okay next example is how do you account for their success nikuvuga ngo ni gute usobanura ibyo bagezeho success nibyo nibyagezweho so how do you account for account account for their success mango ugutsinda kwabo cyangwa se ibyo bagezeho wabisobanura ute how do you account for their success all right my friend next phrase of verb iyo tujye gukurikizaho ni ek for ek for ek ubundi nuburibwe right nvamo amagambo uzabona ukabona i ek ubyitumenya ko ari uburibwe example can say stomachic stomachic no kuribwa munda headache no kuribwa umutwe headache heartache no kuribwa umutima heartache heart attack itandukanye na heartache heart attack no mutima gato gufata gukanya naho heartache no kuribwa umutima okay the, when you see the words with the ache just know that it means kuribwa so ache for jo bisobanura noneho to want something very much to want something or someone when i say s o it means someone you use ngo s o but use ngo someone you want want something cyangwa se want someone very much that is what we call ache for and next example is we were aching for having our house ndivamo twari dukeneye kugira inzu yacu gite we were aching for having our house twari dukeneye kugira inzu yacu gite we were aching for having our house what are you aching for bango ni tushaka cyane what are you aching for okay that is ache for now let's see the next phrase of verbs the katurebe is in the phrase of verbs the next one is act on what act on 
hari mijambo act act ubundi no gukora igikorwa noneho nk'igitabo cyo muri bibiliya kitwa ngo ibyakozwe n'intumwa tukita act ni act twongeyeho s mega nani yitwandika tukongeraho s act ibi bivuze ibyakozwe n'intumwa but then ito vuze ngo act to tuvuze ibikorwa that is act okay and act on bishwa kugira ubusobanuro bubiri but i got you here na mugonda za kuguhereza umwenyero still the same as i've been doing first meaning usono bwa mbere kuri act on birasobanura to be guided by certain information kuyoborwa namakuru runaka to be guided by certain information kuyoborwa namakuru runaka example urugero we were acting on what we read we were acting on what we read we were acting acting on what we read bivuze ngo twari kugendera kubyo twasomye in other words twavuga ngo we were being guided by what we read twa turi kuyoborwa nibyo twasomye you remember maze miss ndiko kwigisha irregular verbs iyo tugeze ku nchinga read muri simple past no muri past participle do some read but in infinitive iyo turi muri infinitive do some read you can say i read a book ya soma igitabo i read a book before going to work ya soma igitabo mbere yo kujya ku kazi but then when we are in simple past here we are in simple past then i will use read we were acting on what we read twa turi kuyoborwa nibyo twasomye next one is to affect wundi usobanura bwa kabiri ni affect to act on usobanura affect ni kuvuga ngo kugira ingaruka that is to affect cyangwa se kuba byatanga umusaruro that is affect urugero the medicine act only infected tissues the medicine act act on only infected tissues okay here no yeho s you know why imam tugeze kuri eat medicine ni eat it acts on only infected tissues right bivuze ngo mu kinyarwanda ngo umuti ugira ingaruka ku maserire yangiritse okay oh yeah sorry bivuze ngo mu kinyarwanda umuti ugira ingaruka cyangwa se uvura amaserire yangiritse cyangwa se ahangiritse aharwaye infected no kuvuga ngo microbe zibazagiyemo niyo tuvuga ngo ikintu kiri infected nuko microbe zibazagiyemo bango ni ufite umubiri no umubiri ukawagemo microbe biravuze ngo iyi miti cyangwa se uyu muti ugira ingaruka cyangwa se uvura ahagiye izo microbe iyo microbe zidahari uwo muti ntacyo marama ya magambo the medicine acts on only infected tissues All right. I hope so far so good. Is it okay to take you me and I want to remind you if it you and I want to remind you if you want to learn English with us, do not hesitate to contact us via 07802931112. Right? So can you number 0.29 That's our number you can use it to reach out to us. Why kwesha kugira ngo utugereho. The example urugero noneho kuri perform something with gestures twavuga ngo they acted okay they acted out they acted out the story on the stage nkuvuga ngo inkuru bari bari kuyigaragaza ariko mu bimenyetso they acted out the story on the stage okay 
do like this that is a gesture it means I'm acting out if I do like this you know that I am acting out what you want to acting out I'm making question mark with this okay I can even say like this and you know that I'm saying I love you in this case I am acting out using gestures okay they acted out the story on the stage next example to express I call no expressing emotions expressing you emotions her anger was being acted out on everyone her anger was being being acted out on everyone her anger was being acted out on everyone you know there are some people who act out and they want to act out on everyone harabantu barakara none nge barakaye urakarigwa bakabutura abantu bose so it's not good to act out your anger to everyone always remember that it's not good to act out your anger on everyone haga ari byiza gutura urakari gawe buri muntu it's not good to act out your anger on everyone i hope if you did that you are going to start to do that so next one in the tujye kurangizaho ni act up act up we saw around behaving badly behaving badly we saw around kwitwara nabi example stop acting up stop acting up you know the parents you know, the parents when they are with their kids you are they can tell them stop acting up okay you can even tell the other people stop acting up all right acting up that means behaving badly behaving in a wrong way okay next example is my computer was acting up maybe last night my computer was acting up bivuze ngo computer yange yari kwitwara nabi wenda yari kugenda izima azima in that case we say my computer was acting up can you say that oh my phone you can even say my phone is acting up telephone yange ikitwara nabi ari gye telephone yizimya cyangwa ukayikora ikanga gukora in that case you are going to say my phone is acting up okay this is it now you know these phrasal verbs i want to tell you that we are bringing more phrasal verbs for you to zagenda to komeza kubazanira phrasal verbs cyangwa se nchinga zibazigeretse and this is the real english if you know these verbs in that case the english you are going to speak is going to be different it's going to be different from the english you used to speak numara kumenya is is numara kumenya is phrase of verbs icyongeza uzagikoresha kizakiraba gitandukanye n'icyongeza wakoreshaga this is learn english fast remember we are just here for you if you are new to this channel i want to tell you that you need to subscribe so that we can be together learning english for now i want to say bye i love you see you next time